Oh, this weather and the fog. Hey guys, welcome back. Tell you what, uh, I plan this cook uh, to do out here on the open pit on my swing grill, but uh, as you can see, uh, we got our springtime rain going on, and I'm my sinuses are going crazy again. So I have got about a two and a half pound truck gross in there. I've got to cook, so I'm going to uh, I guess reverse sear this uh, out here over some pecan wood on the kettle and. Uh, uh, we might just make us up a little sandwich out of it, so uh, let's check it out, guys. I'm keeping this real simple today, guys. I want the smoke to do the magic. Just some salt, pepper, garlic all over this thing. And it's about a two and a half pound uh, chuck roast. Got a pretty good deal on it. All right. Get this fire going. We're gonna throw it on the smoke. Got the rain creeping back in on me now. Do this half and half. Guys, I said this is going to be a reverse sear. I mean that, but it's not going to be a low and slow reverse sear. I'm going to offset cook it up to about 120. Then I'll bring the temps up and I sear it off. Get this thing on here. I will probe this. Get it on there. and get our meat probe in. So we'll go to about 120. Get some of this pecan action going on in here. That's an awful big chunk, but hey, we're gonna make it work. Check back in a little while. All right guys, I do this just to show you how devoted I am. For you, I do it for you. <laughs> we like the food too. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, there's storms all around us guys. I'm out here in front of the garage, but uh, I don't think there's anything severe, so uh, we're gonna go with it. Keep up my hair is soaked. It's very humid, very muggy, but you know what? We're smoking meat. Okay, we have hit. 120, which is a good rare, but we're not done. Take this probe out of here. I've been cooking pretty consistently at about 350 degrees. Get this off of here for the moment. Set it right over here. And I'm gonna open this thing up wide open. Get this thing fired up. Guys, I'm gonna get this thing as hot as I can get it. You can see my wood's burning off. And we're gonna come back in and we're gonna sear this thing off. Try to get it to a medium to a medium rare. We're at a rare right now. Looks great, guys. Oh yeah, I think we're about ready. Okay, folks. I'm gonna run this. I don't normally worry about presentation, but just for kicks and grins. If I can get this on here. Just for kicks and grins. I'm gonna see if I can't do an X pattern on here.
Give this a little quarter turn. About a quarter turn. <laughs> Let's give this thing a flip. Oh, ain't no X mark there, guys. This is gonna be awesome. We're just gonna go a couple minutes over here, guys. Look at that char, though. It's all right, just playing around. I don't do chuck roast like this. I normally do chuck roast to pull. So, and of course, right here at the end of the cook, the sun pops out. I'm going with that, guys. We're gonna take this inside and let it rest. Come out and shut this thing off. We'll come back and cut it for you. Let's see what we got here. Do some cutting here. All right, let's see if we can get a cut on this, guys. My lighting's not real good, as always. We'll drown the ends. Let's see what we got. Well, it's getting better. Got my old hickory going here. Thank you, Danielle. I'm close to a medium, and I'm okay with that, guys. We got right at a medium there going on there. I'm okay with that. I don't know if you can see that. Get towards the center, we're at a close to a medium rare. Let me get my family fed, and I'll come back and we'll do a taste test on this, guys. As usual, one of my favorite breads is a Hawaiian bun. And I'm just gonna make this up as a sandwich. Look at there. I typically keep it pretty simple. I know the naysayers are out there. I just like a little A1 sauce. Good flavor, guys. That's all I'm doing, guys. Very simple. Let's give this a test. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this sandwich, but I've got to try this by itself, guys. That's a good medium anyway. Maybe a medium rare. Mostly medium. Mm. Here we go. Man, you can smell that uh, pecan. Mm. I was gonna do something fancy, guys, uh, with the seasoning, but uh, salt, pepper, garlic with the uh, pecan wood. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I went very simple. Sometimes that's just the way beef should be, especially beef, because beef is where it's at. <laughs> mm. Let's try this sandwich. That's right, I said sandwich. That's, that's a word in Kentucky. So. Mm. I'm the first one to tell you a good steak or any good beef does not need A1, but I happen to like A1 sauce. It goes perfect with this beef. Don't ever be afraid to put some taste good on your sandwich. That's our, any steak, any beef. If you like it, put it on there, guys. Don't be afraid of that. Guys, thank you so much. This was awesome, guys. Uh, not what I planned. I was planning on doing an open cook over at Far using my, my newer swing grill. But uh, the weather, uh, of course, I'm finishing up the weather. It's sunny outside, so. I do apologize for my sinuses. Uh, this is the good old allergy season here in Kentucky, guys, or anywhere in the Ohio Valley. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, uh, guys, we got more to come, plenty more to come. Uh, so stick to us. And guys, we will see you on the next video. God love you folks. Bye-bye.